Can I just say that having Hope and Lizzie back at the Salvatore school being their normal selves feels so good? It feels like everything is right with the world, everything is going back to normal. No humanity, Hope, it has been real. You have been a nice change of pace for this show, but I'm glad to see you go. You kinda overstayed your welcome. I love the fact that Lizzie was the one who finally helped Hope get rid of her evil self. Cause Lizzie is someone who's dealt with mental illness and she had to look at the worst parts of herself. And she's like, look, okay, after going through all this therapy with Aurora and I had to look at me, I'm gonna go ahead and help you. And I'm telling y'all, they ain't have to do Hope like that. I know y'all saw how she put that on the Michelson name. Not only did Hope get beat up, Ken gave her the worst butt whooping of her life. I mean, we've seen Hope Michelson since she was a baby, and I've never seen her get beat this bad. And then they had Lizzie get impaled, and they scared me for a minute with that, because I forgot for a second that she was a heretic. And I also love the fact that Hope actually didn't run into danger by herself. It shows how much her character has developed without her humanity on. I feel like after everything she went through with Lizzie out on the road, she no longer sees Lizzie as someone that she has to protect, but someone who can fight by her side. And this episode tried to explain to me exactly what you did, why you did it, and how for some reason it was for the embitterment of the team and Jed. But I'm not gonna lie, I still don't get it. I still don't agree with what you did, and I still see you as a traitor. But it's obvious that Jed still feels some type of way about him. Look at the way that Jed was smiling when Ben said, I love you. So for that sake, I'll tolerate you, but I don't nowhere near forgive you. And Jen is still out here solidly proving that she is a real one. Okay, she gave herself up for the super squad and went with her dad. But her dad surprisingly wasn't even mad. It's obvious that he still loves her. And I think that's going to play into defeating Ken. And we see that Cleo is not only an oracle able to tell the future, but now that she's able to change it, she's turning into something else. Which I am here for Cleo evolving. As long as they don't do her the same way they did Bonnie Bennett, I'm good. You guys know I haven't been liking these Limbo storylines, but actually in this episode, I loved it. It was so deep. First of all, thank God they left the Necromancer out of most of this episode. You can tell that we're coming to the end of Landon's character, seeing that he's saying he's happy in Limbo and he doesn't need to go to peace. Also, the fact that he got to say his final piece to his mom. Not only that, but the shock at the fact that we got a Landon Hope reunion at the end means that Landon's character is about done in this show. There's one more reunion that they should have before they send Landon off, but I'm not going to say anything else about it, and I'm just going to leave it here. Y'all know how we said either Ethan or MG was going to get taken out by Ken? Maybe Ethan might be going out sooner rather than later. Lizzie, I almost forgot to say it. Okay, we don't blame you. We understand where you were coming from, and we're on your side. You don't have to convince us to forgive you.